We start with some sad news this morning. It was an attempt to prevent two people in the water at Scarborough Beach from becoming victims. But instead, the good Samaritan who tried to help them became a victim himself. That man was a 39 year old and despite CPR efforts by first responders, he was pronounced dead at the hospital. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in Narragansett this morning. Erica, how are the two doing that he was trying to save? Okay, Patrick, good morning to you. It was a boy who was initially struggling in the water here at Scarborough last night. It was a young woman who went in to try and help him, and she began struggling herself. The good news is we're told by environmental police that they were both in good conditions and good spirits when they were pulled from the water. All of this happened around 7 o'clock last night here at Scarborough State Beach, so it was after the lifeguards were off duty. According to DEM, a 39-year-old man saw the pair having trouble in the water and went in to try and rescue both of them. He was still conscious when first responders arrived as they reported seeing three people struggling in the water. But at some point, that Good Samaritan went under and was located by officers who pulled him from the water on a rescue boat and tried to get him breathing again, but it was simply too late. And while his selfless efforts are commended, they also serve as a warning. When you come to the beach, especially after hours when there aren't lifeguards available, the risk is much higher. Um, so if you're not comfortable swimming, you shouldn't be swimming at all. And certainly uh, we should pay attention to the weather, the surf, and, uh, you know, pay attention to our own abilities. Lots of good advice and some good reminders there as well. Now, guys, this is the third drowning in Rhode Island waters in less than 10 days. Coming up next half hour, when I see you right back here, we're going to talk about what some of these drownings had in common and what you can do to prevent any more from happening for the rest of the summer season. I'll see you right back here at 630. For now, live in Narragansett, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. Sadly, another person has drowned in Rhode Island waters. A 39 year old man died last night trying to save two people at Scarborough State Beach. And this is the third drowning in our waters in 10 days. The second time a good Samaritan has become a victim. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in Narragansett. Erica, lifeguards were off duty when this happened because it was at night, right? Yeah, Kate, that's right. This happened here at Scarborough State Beach at 7 o'clock last night, so no lifeguards were on duty at the time. They get off at 6 o'clock. Environmental police with DEM say when there are no lifeguards available, like you see here right now, and you see someone in distress in the water, the best thing you can do is call authorities and stay on shore as a witness. If you're not trained, it's it can be uh, very hazardous to go in, especially with a little bit of surf condition like we have today. If you haven't spent a lot of time in the ocean, you can get into a lot of trouble. And, and oftentimes we do see that people go in, try to save people, become a victim themselves. And that's what happened last night here at Scarborough State Beach. A 39 year old man saw a young woman go into the water to try and help a boy who was struggling. Uh, but when the 39 year old saw both of them struggling, he went in to try and help and ended up drowning in the process. It's the same scene that played out near Governor Naughty Park in North Providence on July 9th. 46 year old Javier Rivera noticed young kayakers he thought were in trouble and he began to swim out to save them. But on his way to them, he realized they weren't in danger and he began to swim back. Exhaustion though, getting the best of him, he went under and never resurfaced. And four days later, 28 year old Nick Nicolette Bieber went into the water at Connecticut Point in Warwick for a night swim and was missing in minutes. She too was given CPR, but to no avail. So again, as we come back live, if you are not a trained swimmer and you do see someone in distress here in any waters, you should always go ahead and call 911 first and stay on the shore as a witness uh, while the first responders are on their way. Good news this morning, though, guys, the two people who were initially in the water struggling, they were taken to shore safely by first responders and were told that they were in good condition when they got here. That's the latest live in Narragansett. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.